हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री दिस कोर्स इज फॉर द कैम्ब्रिज ऑक्सफोर्ड ए लेवल ए एस लेवल एफ एस सी कॉलेज अलजबरा एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड एफ एस सी पार्ट वन माई नेम इज माजिद अली बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वी फर्स्ट लुक एट जोमेट्री geometry is derived from two greek words geo and metron geo mean earth and metron mean measurement in one sentence we can define that the branch of the mathematics that uh, deals the study of the measurement of earth is known as the geometry here is the precise definition geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with the measurements properties and relationship of points properties and relationship of points lines angles surfaces and solids now we define the trigonometry trigonometry is defined as it is also derived from the three words tri ganon and metron tri mean three ganon mean angle metron mean measurement in one sentence we can say that trigonometry is the branch of geometry which deals the study of the triangles and measurement of triangles the branch of the geometry which deals with the study of the measurement measuring angle and side of the triangle is known as the trigonometry there are some fundamental of the trigonometry as we know fundamental are those terms which cannot be defined properly they have only concepts first is angle second is triangle first look at the angle what is angle angle is formed by two rays with a common starting point and uh, angle is denoted by greek alphabetically alpha beta gamma theta etc and there are two units of the angle first is degree second is the radian all the engineers use the radian uh, as the unit of the degree and all the physical science is used as the here is some fundament uh, some important points that when angle is positive and when angle is negative first of all we have we see that this is known as the initial ray and this is known as the terminal ray and if the terminal ray rotate anti clockwise then the angle is positive as you can see that this uh, terminal ray rotating anti clockwise then the angle is positive and where both rays are meeting at common point this point is known as the vertex and if the terminal ray rotate uh, clockwise then the angle is negative here is the system that is very important hexadecimal system and its other name is dms system degree minute and second system and if the initial ray oa rotate in anti clockwise direction in such a way that it coincide with itself then angle formed is said to be 360 degree in other words we can say that if an initial ray rotate is itself then the one rotation is equal to 360 degree one rotation is equal to 360 degree and if we half the 360 then the rotation is also half and the angle is 180 degree and if we further dividing by 2 then we get the 90 degree and here is the uh, diagram that you can see that if the initial ray this one is the initial ray it rotate and reach itself then it covers 360 in other words we can say that one rotation is equal to 360 this is the half rotation half rotation is equal to 180 degree and one fourth rotation is equal to 90 degree we can also uh, divide the degree into minutes and minutes into seconds one rotation is equal to 360 degree as we have seen in this diagram that one rotation is equal to 360 degree and one degree is equal to 60 minute one degree is equal to 60 minute this is the same system as we observe in the clock that 1 hour is equal to 360 oh, sorry 1 hour is equal to 60 minute and 1 minute is equal to 60 second and in the trigonometry we 
say that one degree is equal to 60 minute and one minute is equal to 60 second and one degree is equal to 3600 seconds that is the definition of radian which is the unit of the angle that radian is the measure of an angle that I also told you that and radian is the unit of the angle and this is also defined as measure of the angle it means that angle it is the unit of the angle subtended at the center of the circle by an arc if we draw a circle and from center to the boundary of the circle is known as arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle and we can say that the radius of the circle the half of the diameter is known as the radius and the uh, length of the arc and the length of the radius is equal to radi arc length then we say that this is the radian here is the conversion of the radian to degree and vice versa 2 pi radian is equal to 360 and if we divide both sides by 2 then we get pi radian is equal to 180 degree this is the main relation for the conversion if we want to convert the radian into degree then we divide pi both sides by pi here is the relation by dividing the pi both sides then 1 radian is equal to this degree uh, or this degree and if we want to get from degree to radian then we divide the 180 both side this is the relation for conversion the radian into degree and this is the relation for conversion of the degree into radian here is some <coughs> relation which is very important this relation is long uh, this is the relation between the length of the arc of circle and uh, central angle theta is the central angle L is the length of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. <coughs> Some examples are here. First of all, uh, perform the calculations. We first of all we calculated both, which is equal to solution 51 degree 29 minute plus 32 degree 46 minute, which is equal to by adding. 83 degree 75 minute and uh, 75 minute is equal to if we factorize 60 minute plus 15 minute and 16 minute is equal to 1 degree as we have seen in the previous slide and 15 minute as usual and if we substitute the value of 75 minute which is equal to 1 degree 15 minute into equation 1 then we get the answer that uh, 84 degree 15 minute this is the second example that is also similar that uh, 71 degree 5 minute plus 64 degree 53 minute by adding both we have 135 degree 103 minute 103 minute factorized as 60 minute here is an error uh, this is not and uh, this is not a degree here come a uh, minute sign 60 minute plus 43 minute which is equal to we know that 60 minute is equal to 1 degree and 43 minute as uh, usual and by substituting the value of 103 is equal to 1 degree 43 minute we get our solution which is equal to 136 degree and 43 minutes here is the third example the conversion of the degree into decimal system as we have seen in the previous slide that dms system that degree converts into minute or second and here we have degree minute and seconds we convert it into decimal system as we know that 40 sorry 74 degree plus 8 minute 8 minute can be written as 8 into 1 minute which is also equal to 8 minute and 14 second is also written as 14 minute into 1 second and then by substituting the value as we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 second but we convert it into degrees decimal degree 
so we know that 1 degree is equal to 60 minute and uh, 1 minute is equal to 1 over 60 degree and similar for the second as we have seen that in the previous slide that 1 degree is equal to 3600 second and 1 second is equal to 1 over 36 degree by dividing 1 over 16 to 8 we get this one and 1 over 3600 and into 14 we get this by adding all of the terms we get 74.137 degree that is example 4 in this example we convert the decimal system into DMS system we can write this one 26 degree plus 0 0.76 degree we can write it 0 0.76 degree into 1 degree and while substituting the value of 1 degree which is equal to 60 minute this one is equal to 60 minute by multiplying both terms we get this one and here is also a decimal point so we uh, solve it further for the seconds we can write it as 126 degree plus 40 5 minute plus 0 0.6 minute and 0 0.6 minute is equal to 0 0.6 into 1 minute by substituting the value of 1 minute which is equal to 60 second and uh, 60 second multiplied by 0 0.6 we get the 36 second by adding all of these we get the exact answer 126 degree 45 minute 36 second here is the example number 5 that is the relation find uh, the angle theta when l is equal to 1.5 and r is equal to 2.5 we know that the relation that l is e that theta is equal to l over r by substituting the value l is equal to 1 over 5 r is equal to 2 over 5 we get the value of theta is 0.6 here is example 6 express the following angle into radian 120 degree as we know that degree if we want to convert the degree into radian then how we have a relation 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 multiplying by both side 120 because we want to get the value of 120 degree 120 degree is equal to 120 multiply by pi over 180 here is the cancellation of 0 with 0 and uh, we cancel cancel both on the table of 6 6 2's are and uh, 6 3's are we get the answer 2 pi by 3 radian 120 degree is equal to 2 pi by 3 radian here is the example other part of the example one to multiply by 225 both side by multiplying 225 both side we cancel 225 and uh, 180 degree and get the answer for uh, 5 pi by 4 we cancel both terms at 45 45 4s are 180 and 45 5s uh, are 25 as we see that here here is an example 7 then convert the radian into degree as we have the relation here 1 degree radian is equal to 180 degree by pi multiply by both sides 7 pi by 6 7 pi by 6 radian and here we if we multiply 7 pi by 6 then we get 7 pi by 6 and here is 7 pi by 6 multiply by 180 over pi here is the cancel of pi with pi Say and 180 with 6 6 ones are 6 and 6 30s are 180 30 sevens are 210 degree 7 pi by 6 is equal to 210 degree here is the second part of the example 7 we know that 1 radian is equal to 180 degree over pi multiply by 5 pi by 3 both side here if we multiply 5 pi by 3 by 1 which is equal to 5 pi by 3 over 1 and this is equal to 5 pi by 3 into 180 over 3 and this is again cancel with pi and pi 3 ones are 3 and 3 60s are 180 and 65 are 300 degree 5 pi by 18 is equal to 300 degree 
here is some exercise for you solving the example uh, exercise for solving you you can stop the video and uh, take the screenshot for your practice and here is the another question for the relation theta is equal to l over r our next topic is angle in standard position what do you mean by this here is the definition of angle in standard position there is a some uh, criteria for angle in standard position first is if the vertex lies in at the origin of the rectangular coordinate and its initial side along the x axis here you can see that its initial is initial side is along the x axis vertex this one is the vertex as uh, i told you that vertex is that point where two rays are meeting the common point common meeting point of two rays initial and terminal is known as the vertex so this is the basic condition or criteria for the standard standard position of the angle that x initial side is along the x axis and uh, its vertex is at origin and in second example we know also see that the initial side is at uh, x axis and vertex is at origin what is the quadrantal angle all the angles that have a fixed value like 90 degree 180 degree 270 and 360 and so on this is these are the quadrantal angle now we will see the what is the coterminal angle coterminal angle can be defined as a complete rotation of the ray radius sorry result in an angle measuring 360 by continuing the rotation angle of measure larger than 360 degree can be produced here, here is an example to understand the concept of the coterminal angle by using the figure you can see that the angle of 60 degree this one is the angle of 60 degree and if we complete one rotation which is equal to 360 and then after the 360 rotation this one is 360 and after adding 60 degree 360 plus 60 420 degree and 420 degree and the 60 degree both have the same terminal side as as you can see that 60 degree is also the same terminal side and 420 degree is also have the same terminal side so both are the coterminal angle here is another example in general form if we rotate one rotation then we add 2 pi plus theta and if we rotate if our rotation is two time this one is our first rotation and after second rotation which is equal to 4 pi one rotation as we have seen in the previous slide which is equal to 2 pi and after one rotation which is equal to 2 pi 2 pi plus 2 pi 4 pi and this one is some angle that is adding this is a, this was the our first lecture in second lecture we will cover our first chapter which is equal to uh, which one we will be discuss about uh, trigonometric function trigonometric function values trigonometric identities the main of the trigonometric function and some solve example related to these four topics our first chapter will be closed in second lecture and then in third lecture we will study about our second chapter which is the trigonometric identities thanks for the watching if you do not subscribe our channel then subscribe and press the bell icon to get more video on the trigonometric course and other courses thank you for watching